I'm a musician. Um, I grew up playing the guitar. I played in college. I played in a lot of bands. And I'm kind of a, a headbanger. And I'm not really a closet headbanger. I love, I love metal. I follow bands around the world. I have literally gotten on an airplane and flown seven hours to hear one band play. I was actually recruited to join the company by uh, a fairly well-known New York venture capitalist. I actually came here to help him assess whether the company was an interesting technology, what the team was like, uh, what the company was like, what the, what the probability of success was like. And, and, and as, as some of my coworkers here who founded the place like to say, I came to help the investors do due diligence and I kind of never left. I actually did realize pretty early on that we were dealing with something special here, something unique, something materially different than I was seeing in the industry. I dare say we're probably one of the, the most successful companies in our, our small segment of the data storage industry, which is solid state storage arrays. Um, and it's been an absolute pleasure so far. One of the things we've done here at Whiptail is we are constantly pushing the edge of the envelope. I have never met a more adventurous group of engineers who, who really sort of have no fear. And what's unique about us, one, we are an East Coast-based startup, which is very unique these days. Uh, and a lot of us are, I, I'll use the term headbangers, but we're overclockers, we're hot rodders, we grew up on fast cars, motorcycles, airplanes. Everybody here loves speed. And part of the reason I think we've all sort of collected here is because we love pushing the edge of the envelope. I joined Whiptail in January of 2011. And, and this year, we've actually literally doubled the size of our company and of our customer base um, every couple of months. We tend to solve problems much quicker in our environment than, than you do either in a very large firm or, or, in many, or in many other small companies where people hold back and are afraid to say what they really think. We're actually very direct here. We try to keep that and make it part of the culture, and it's very unique. And we've been able to attract some, some extraordinary people from throughout uh, the technology business uh, to join us um, on, our, on our adventure here as we, as we push the edge of the envelope for data storage. For the next few years, to sort of work through the, the voracious uh, appetite for consuming large amounts of data as quickly as possible, uh, we've laid out a sort of a technology plan, a, an approach to building faster and bigger and more reliable systems uh, really for the next 24, 36 months, we pretty much know what we're going to try to accomplish. These things are no small feats. What we've been able to accomplish so far has been fairly radical. Uh, the work that we have laid out for the next two or three quarters, in my mind, is absolutely mind-blowing. Um, and what we have planned into 2000, towards the end of 2013 has never been done before. And it is by no means subtle what we're trying to do. We're trying to basically change the game in how people perceive the value of data storage and, and their expectations of getting it on and getting it off these machines as quickly as possible. We made the decision early on that we wanted it to be unique in culture, that we wanted it to be the place that everybody wanted to go to work every day. The kind of place where people actually have the ability to improve the environment daily. We try to drive to an environment where we have an entrepreneurial meritocracy, where, where people are, need to feel free to debate their cause, where we actually set priorities and we, we direct the company based on what our customers and what the people who touch our customers are telling us to do, and where there's no sacred cows. You know, in a young company, you can't have sacred cows. Our technology here is actually affecting the lives of people positively in a variety of different industries and in a variety of different places. In hospitals, there is an increasing demand to be able to get patient records faster. And there's two problems there. One of them is you've got to be able to retrieve it quickly. But even more fundamental than that, they need to be able to find it quickly, find the reference data about a specific patient or a specific condition really quickly. And over the years, as the volume of data has grown and as the volume of case data and referential data has grown, the ability to search and find things faster has become a tougher and tougher problem to solve. A lot of companies like Google and, and Yahoo and companies that do consume vast amounts of data storage have actually gone to solid state technologies like we sell simply because it enables them to reduce the amount of, of power that's consumed by their data storage devices. So we're, we're excited in that you get an additional benefit when you use our equipment that we don't actually have that much of a power footprint 
which means it's easier to absorb our technology and in many cases you can actually remove older stuff that actually consumes kilowatts of power and replace it with one of our systems that consumes a couple of hundred watts. And while people aren't really consuming our technology specifically for power reduction right now, we're starting to see a trend go in that direction and we're really, really excited about it. We've had a really unusual, unusual situation here at Whiptail. One of the reasons I decided to join uh, when I was working on, on sort of evaluating the company for some investors in 2010 was because, because almost every single customer I'd spoken to from the early days of Whiptail wanted to talk about it. They wanted to talk about how exciting the company was. They wanted to talk about how they'd been treated honestly and how when they called in with an issue, the, everyone swarmed on it to solve the problem. We listen to the people that we trade with. They tell us what to build next. They tell us how to think about things. They tell us where we're failing, where maybe we're not doing as well as we could be doing. They help us tune our, our operational mantra. They help us tune our attitude. Uh-oh, there it goes, the shiny head problem again. Oh my God, you're killing me. This is gonna be like faking orgasm. I'll do the best I can do. So Whiptail's really imp <laughs> This is the lady in the back of the room. She's doing this to me. I can't stand it.